My new work has been released, welcome everyone to read my work in Tomato Novel. I hope everyone can enjoy it. Your attention is the driving force behind my writing, and I will strive to tell every story well. Chapter 1 Incident You are listening at NovelFull.audio The high team is here. Seeing Gao Wei, the members of the criminal investigation team scattered in the emergency room corridor of the hospital gathered around. Li team, tell me about the case. Without saying hello to the team members, Gao Wei looked at his deputy Li Li. Yes. At 11.30 p.m. tonight, 110 received a call to the police. A murder case occurred on Hohat South Road in Tianhe District. When we arrived at the scene, we found a middle-aged man lying in the forest, with his chest stabbed by a sharp blade. The victim was covered in blood and had only a faint breath. We immediately took him to the People's Hospital, and the victim is currently being rescued. Li Li paused and continued, after on dot site investigation, the scene of the crime was the forest next to Hohat South Road where we found the victim. However, we did not find any knives at the scene, so it should be that the perpetrator took them away. Quickly identify the victim and determine the direction of solving the case. Yes, Li Li was ordered to leave. Team Gao, you can't guess who reported the case. Yang Ling leaned in. The case occurred on Hohat Road, and the Bureau is also carrying out a special campaign to crack down on organized crime and eliminate evil. You won't tell me, it was reported by Wang Zhenguang, right? Gao Wei smiled slightly. In the office of the criminal investigation team, Wang Zhenguang, who was depicted with dragons and phoenixes, looked aggrieved and said, Team Gao, the case that happened last night really has nothing to do with me. I am a good citizen who guarantees no false gains. I never do illegal or disorderly things. Besides, if I were to do it, killing someone in my territory and burying them would be much easier, and I would have to report to the police and provoke you. I would be all in a state of shame if I had nothing to do. Yang Ling glared at him and said, Wang Zhenguang, how did you talk? Don't think we don't know about the sneaky things you and your subordinates have done. Officer Yang, what you're saying is wrong. I, Wang Zhenguang, dare to swear to the heavens that if I do something outrageous this year, I won't die easily. Oh, really? Wang Zhenguang, can you tell me where the stone lion at the entrance of Jingxing Trading Company has gone? Who splashed the paint on Lu Yonggui's doorstep? Who bought Wang Fatty's crab without paying, and even threatened him? Oh my, Team Gao, you also know these small things. I don't have nothing to do every day and just play with them. Playing around. Wang Jingguang, let me tell you, our Public Security Bureau is currently carrying out a special campaign to crack down on organized crime and eliminate evil. I think the things you and your subordinates have done have basically met the conditions for identifying you as a criminal force. Do you think if we sort out the materials about your illegal activities and report them to the higher authorities, your uncle will still come out to protect you? Don't worry, team leader. Don't you think we've been working very happily together? You asked us to come and record a transcript in the middle of the night, and our buddies rushed over without saying a word. They didn't even sleep so they came over. Do you think this is okay? I'll immediately have someone send the stone lion in red and colorful clothes back to Jingxing Trading. I'll double Wang Fatty's crab money to him, and I'll personally come and apologize to Lu Yonggui tomorrow. Wang Jingguang couldn't sit still and bent down, speaking softly. Visiting in person. You're so arrogant, Yang Ling sneered. No, it's not in person, it's me who came to apologize to Lu Yonggui. Officer Yang, why are you still getting serious with me? Wang Jingguang apologized with a smile. All right, let's get back to the point. How did you discover the victim? Gao Wei knew that Wang Jingguang was a piece of meat and didn't want to entangle with him to waste time. Speaking of which, it's really unlucky for her mother. Tonight, no, it should have been last night. Lei Zi, a foam, and a group of brothers and I were having a late-night snack at the Dejun barbecue restaurant. 
I drank a few more bottles of beer just to make it convenient. As you know, the June's restaurant only has two squatting seats, which would have been occupied by someone long ago. I thought of going to the opposite forest to solve it. As soon as I ran across the street, I saw a person rushing out of the forest. This person was not tall, about 1.7 meters tall, thin and dressed in black clothes, carrying a black men's crossbody bag, and wearing a black tennis hat on his head. Still wearing a mask and covering my face tightly, I felt strange and muttered to myself, the epidemic is over, what kind of mask do you still wear? You're such a fool. I didn't expect the person to hear me. He raised his head and glared at me, and when he glared at me, my entire body stood up with a brush of sweat. The alcohol immediately woke up. It was so terrifying. Team leader, you didn't see that look in your eyes, cold, like a hungry wolf, with no living breath. I still feel eerie when I think of it now. Wang Jingguang couldn't help but shiver as he spoke. Sure. I have watched many Hong Kong police and gangster films before, and that person gave me the feeling of being too much like the killer in police and gangster films, and it was also one of the top killers. I didn't know what was going on at the time, maybe my brain suddenly went short-circuited, and the word killer blurted out. Then I saw that guy's face changed and he quickly rushed towards me, holding a sharp knife in his hand. I was so scared that I shouted and quickly turned around and ran back. Fortunately, Lazy and five or six brothers also came to help. The killer saw that we were many people, so he sneered and ran away into the forest. Ah, there's still this matter. Brother Guang, why didn't you say anything at that time? The brothers rushed forward, regardless of whether he was a killer or not, they tied him up, so we could help the high team solve the case. Lu Lei exclaimed. Come on, Lazy. I'm not sure about those two of you. It's okay to scare the people. If we really encounter killing, all ten of you will be given away. Wang Jingguang angrily retorted. Don't go too far, keep talking, Gao Wei knocked on the table. I was thinking about why the assassin appeared in the forest, and there must be a reason behind it. My curiosity overcame my fear, and with more people, my courage grew. I led Lazy and his team into the forest, where it was pitch black. Before I could walk too far, I stumbled over something. I fixed my eyes and saw that someone was lying on the ground. I pushed him, but he didn't move. I felt my hands were sticky and liquid kept dripping down, so I quickly called Lazy to give me a light. Lazy was using a lighter, and I saw that his hands were covered in blood, probably lying on the ground. With the blood of that abortion, the killer killed him. It was the killer who killed him. I immediately woke up. As a good citizen who knows and abides by the law, I immediately thought of calling the police, Wang Jingguang said with great righteousness. Lu Lei recalled last night when Wang Jingguang was so scared that he sat on the ground with a bear-like expression. He couldn't hold back any longer. He smiled strangely, and Wang Jingguang hit him hard on the head and said, Laugh, didn't I ask you to call the police? If it weren't for my blood all over my hands, I wouldn't have needed you to make a phone call. Gao Wei suppressed his smile and deliberately asked with a stern face, Then you should remember what the killer looks like. Later, we will ask you to cooperate with us to draw a portrait of the killer. No problem, it is our duty as citizens to cooperate with the police in handling cases. However, senior team, you can see the small things we have committed. What's up? Gao Wei asked in a long voice. Ah. Oh. Thank you, Captain Gao. Thank you, Officer Yan. When I have time, I'll treat all the brothers from the criminal investigation team to dinner. After dismissing Wang Jingguang and his gang of thugs, Detective Huang Sipin pushed the door in and reported, Team Gao, Team Lee just called. He said that according to the doctors involved in the emergency treatment, the victim was injured in the heart with a sharp knife. Obviously, the perpetrator's intention was to kill the victim. However, fortunately, the victim's heart is different from that of ordinary people, with a slightly left-dot-sided appearance and timely detection. 
After rescue, the victim has already escaped danger, but due to excessive blood loss, it is likely that he will not be able to wake up in the short term. In addition, Team Lee checked the victim's personal belongings and identified their identity. His name is Wu Xiao, and he is an internal risk control officer of Yoshan Village Bank. The general manager of the department, the banks or the risk internal control departments, this case seems a bit interesting. Chapter 2 Visits You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Da Juan, do you have any impression of the victim? I haven't seen this person before. It should be his first time coming to our barbecue restaurant. I remember he took a taxi around 10.30 p.m. last night. He was nearly 1.8 meters tall, thin, wearing a sky-blue long-sleeved shirt, dark trousers, and carrying a black shoulder bag. He looked like someone with some status. When he arrived, he ordered five skewers of beef, five skewers of lamb, two skewers of waste, two skewers of chives, one eggplant, and two bottles of beer. He sat alone in the corner and ate slowly. Team up, our barbecue restaurant is mainly a gathering place for friends, and it's rare for someone like him to come over alone. So, I, attention up, at 11.20, he stood up to pay the bill. I saw that he still had a bottle of beer and a lot of barbecue to finish, so I asked him if he wanted to pack it. He remained silent for a while and said he didn't need it anymore. After buying the order, he went to the washroom and walked across the street. What happened later, Gao, please ask Wang Zhengguang. He knows better than me, Da Juan, have you found any other abnormalities? After thinking for a while, the Jun replied, by the way, he would take out his phone every other moment to check whether he was checking the time or waiting for news. At 11.20, he took out his phone again to check and then dried the beer in his glass. After sitting for a minute, he stood up and said to pay the bill as if he had made up his mind. There is also a situation where this person came by taxi, probably not from nearby people. In theory, he should have taken a taxi back. At that time, a few taxis were parked next to my barbecue restaurant, but for some reason, he didn't call a taxi and instead ran across the street. Da Juan, thank you for providing the clues. Team Gao, this is what I should do. You usually take care of me so well, and I haven't thanked you properly. Don't leave at noon, let's have a meal together. There's something else to do in the afternoon, let's find another chance to meet. Da Jun, your Wei was younger brother. Wei Guo was my best friend when I was at the police academy. Although he's gone, our friendship will always be there. I've told you so many times, don't call me Gao Dui, call me brother in the future. Gao Wei patted De Jun's shoulder. Okay, brother, the army replied with emotion. Hi team, Chen team has been sacrificing for two years, haven't they? Yang Ling asked carefully while driving on the way back. Yeah, the tenth of this month is the second anniversary of sacrificing for our country. Buy some gifts from the team and let's go visit uncle and aunt together. Okay. Team Gao, where are we going now? First, go to Yoshang Village Bank and see if Team Li and his team have found any clues to the case. Earlier, Li Li brought police officers Zhao Chuanwu and Huang Sipin to Yoshang Village Bank. As soon as they got off the car, Lu Cun, the general manager of the Comprehensive Management Department, welcomed them. A few steps away, he reached out his hands and said, Hello Li, I am Lu Cun from the Comprehensive Management Department of Yoshang Bank. Welcome to our bank to guide your work. Li Li shook hands with him briefly and said, Hello Mr. Lu, we have a tight schedule and a lot of things to attend to at your company today. We hope to receive your cooperation. Lu Kun hurriedly nodded and said, there's no problem at all. When I received the phone call, I immediately consulted with President Du. President Du has an important meeting to attend in the provincial capital today and cannot leave. However, he demanded that we cooperate unconditionally with you in handling the case. We have made room for the meeting specifically for your office, and we have also requested that they cannot leave their work positions and must be on call. Thank you, Mr. Liu. Could you please take us to Wu Zhao's office first? 
Okay, please follow me. Although Yoshan Village Bank is a legal entity with a small office area, the first floor is the business hall, and the second floor is the office location for each internal department. As the department general manager, Wu Xiao does not have a separate office. All the staff of the risk and internal control department are concentrated in a large office on the second floor. The four people working in the card seat saw Lu Cun bringing someone in and stood up in a panic. Lu Cun introduced, Mr. Wang and Mr. Chao, these are the Li team, Officer Zhao, and Officer Huang from the criminal investigation team of the Municipal Public Security Bureau. They came to our bank to learn about Mr. Wu's situation, and Mr. Du instructed everyone to cooperate fully. He then introduced Li Li one by one, Li team, there are currently five employees in the risk and internal control department. Apart from General Manager Wu, this is Deputy General Manager Wang Hao responsible for corporate business review, Deputy General Manager Chao Anshan responsible for retail business review, Yang Lan in the lending position, and He Ying in the compliance position. Li Li nodded and said, Mr. Lu, go ahead and get busy. I'll come find you when I have something to do. Lu Kundo said, Okay, okay, Team Li. My office is right next to me. If you have anything to do, just give me your orders. Mr. Wang and Mr. Chao, you must cooperate well with Team Li. After he finished speaking, he walked out of the office and closed the door with his back hand. Li Li asked, Mr. Wang, where does Mr. Wu Xiao Wu work at? Wang Hao led Li Li to the checkpoint near the window and said, Mr. Wu is working here, Team Li don't call me Mr. Wang, I'm actually just in charge of handling things. Just call me Wang Hao. Li Li noticed that there were many office supplies and books scattered on the desktop of the opposite card slot, and asked, is that card slot also used for office work? Wang Hao replied, originally it was Huang Wen's desk, but he was transferred to the Zijin branch a few days ago. Oh, did you get promoted? No, I went to the branch to work as a customer manager. Wang Hao seemed a bit dissatisfied with this matter. Li Li noticed the change in his mood, raised his eyebrows, and asked calmly, Mr. Wang, can I open Mr. Wu's drawer and take a look? Of course, it's possible, but the drawers are always locked by Mr. Wu. Wang Hao tried to pull on the first drawer, but he didn't expect it to be unlocked. He pulled it out and it fell to the ground with a clang sound, scattering the contents of the drawer. It's really bad. Wang Hao quickly squatted down to tidy up the items on the ground, and Li Li, Ang Lan, and He Ying also helped tidy them up. Wang Hao glanced at Li Li and said with embarrassment, Wu always locks the drawers after work. Why did he forget this time? Oh. Li Li became alert and gave a glance to Zhao Chuanwu. Zhao Chuanwu nodded knowingly and immediately walked to Wu Zhao's card slot, carefully checking the lock hole. After a while, he gently shook his head, indicating that the drawer lock was not damaged. Li Liliu was somewhat disappointed, but his gaze was quickly caught by a notebook with a cowhide paper cover on the ground. He picked up the notebook and flipped through a few pages. Wang Hao saw that he was interested in the notebook and quickly said, This is Mr. Wu's work log. He always brings it with him during meetings and conferences. Li Li handed the notebook to Huang Sipin and said, Go back and read it carefully. Chuan Wu, please double check and see if there is anything else you need to bring back. Chapter 3 Important Clues You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the small meeting room of Yoshang Village Bank, Li Liwen said, Mr. Wang, don't be nervous. We are just here to understand the situation. Wu Xiao is the general manager of your department, and you should have more contact on a regular basis. Can you talk about Wu Xiao's situation? Wang Hao said, if I don't do anything wrong, why am I nervous? Let me tell you. Wu and I applied for the job at Yoshang together two years ago. He used to be from the Credit Approval Department of ICBC, and I am from the Credit Approval Department of Bank of Communications. After coming to Yoshang, we are all new employees who work in the Approval Department. Although we are superiors and subordinates, our relationship is still good. 
Do you know about his family situation? Of course I know. Our two families often have meals together. His son and my daughter are still classmates, and Mr. Wu's wife, Zhang Mingmei, is also from ICBC. Currently, she is the vice president in charge of counter business at ICBC Mingzhu branch. How is their marital relationship? I think their relationship is very good. They are both from Fuzhou, Jiangxi, and college classmates. After graduation, they came to Zhuqing together. Mr. Wu loves this family very much. If there are no dinners that he has to attend, he goes home every day to cook. He said his wife manages the counter business and comes home late from work. He wants her to come home and have delicious food, feeling the warmth of the family. Mr. Wu's son, Wu Jiajun, is also very outstanding. He studies at Wenyuan Middle School and is in the second year of junior high school. He always ranks in the top three in every exam and is one place higher than my daughter, Wenyuan Middle School. That's the best middle school in Zhuqing. If you can rank in the top three of Wenyuan Middle School, not to mention being admitted to number one middle school, or even ranking in the city's top 100 in the middle school entrance examination with blocked grades, it's a matter of certainty. Mr. Wang, how did you educate such an excellent child? In the future, I will have to learn from you. The first three are Mr. Wu's sons, but my daughter is a bit inferior, ranking fourth in the whole grade, right? Wang Hao couldn't help but feel a little proud when talking about his daughter. The third and fourth are equally excellent. I didn't expect to find the parents of two top students at Yoshang Bank this time, and they have gained a lot. Li Li sighed and saw that Wang Hao was no longer on guard. He pretended to be careless and asked, Mr. Wang, does Mr. Wu have any enemies? Wang Hao frowned and pondered for a while before answering, Mr. Wu is very principled and has a quick temper. He should have offended many people in his work, but this is just a conflict that occurred in his work. Mr. Wu is just right about things and not people. I don't think they should kill anyone, right? Oh. Mr. Wang, could you please tell us in detail who Mr. Wu has had conflicts with at work? That's quite a lot, Li Team. To be honest, before coming to Yoshang Bank, I thought that the small bank had a flexible mechanism, smooth communication, and sufficient authorization, which would make it easier to work. The income would be higher than that of the large bank, and I could also achieve some results. It wasn't until I arrived that I realized I was wrong, Wang Hao shook his head and looked regretful. He asked, Li Team, do you not even know that there is such a bank as Yushang in Zhucheng? Li Li nodded honestly and said, sorry, I'm a bit ignorant. No wonder you. Yoshan Bank is a rural bank with a small registered capital and a small scale. There are only four branches in the city. Our downstairs branch, Fenghuang Branch, Renmin Road Branch, and Zijing Branch. It's normal that Li Dui hasn't heard of them. Just because Yoshan Bank is not well dot known and the people don't know about such a bank, it's difficult for us to absorb deposits. Everyone is worried that we might suddenly close down and not be able to retrieve our own deposits if you come out, it will be fatal. Without deposits, we cannot issue loans. Without loans to earn interest rate differentials, banks have no benefits. Without benefits, banks cannot survive. In order to survive, our bank must spend higher costs than its peers to market deposits, which inevitably leads to our loan interest rates being much higher than other banks Wang Hao picked up the mineral water on the table and took a big gulp. He wiped his mouth and continued, Do you know how many banks and Li teams there are in Zhuqing now? 28. Zhuqing has a population of less than 2 million and a GDP of just over 200 billion yuan last year, with 28 banks. I really don't know what indicators the China Banking and Insurance Regulatory Bureau uses to determine the number of local bankers. It feels like they are blindly criticizing, and everyone agrees to apply. The consequence of their actions is that there are many small monks in the temple. If everyone wants to have enough to eat, they can only rely on vicious competition, malignant competition. Yes, vicious competition. Let me give you an analogy. 
For the same collateral in a loan, if your bank evaluates the value to be 5 million, I will increase the evaluation value to 6 million. If your bank's mortgage rate is 60%, I dare to increase the mortgage rate to 70%. This approach is to win business and obtain certain operating benefits in a short period of time, but it weakens the bank's risk control ability for business, at the cost of sacrificing risk control. In the long run the past consequences were unimaginable, Mr. Wang, do you mean that Mr. Wu has offended people from other banks in his business? They may retaliate against Mr. Wu, Li Li asked. To be honest, he knows nothing about finance and doesn't want to learn it. In his eyes, financial services not only provide convenience for people to deposit and withdraw funds, but also financial support for the development of industrial and commercial enterprises. Stock and futures trading is actually a disguised form of gambling, it's only because there is a state endorsement that it can be carried out in a dignified manner. As for funds, they are really the best tool to help the tyrant. As far as he knows, due to the crazy selling of Fuwa fund purchased by his wife Deng Yu, the green energy stocks purchased by uncle have all fallen, and now they have been deeply invested by 60%. Fuwa fund is not doing well, with a current market value of only 0.65, facing the risk of liquidation. Deng Yu sighs all day for this, I comforted her and said, I don't have much money either. If I want to open it up, I'll just consider it as paying tuition fees. Unexpectedly, Deng Yu became more enthusiastic and said, you can say it lightly. That's 100,000 yuan, my income for most of the year. Wang Hao explained, no, Mr. Wu offended not his peers, but his own people, such as the head of the company department, the head of the retail department, and the branch president. He has offended almost every time. Of course, some customers may also be dissatisfied with him because the project was rejected by Mr. Wu and they did not receive the loan. Oh. So who do you think Mr. Wu has a bigger conflict with? This is really hard to say. I can't say anything I'm not sure about, can I? It's okay, we're just chatting. Don't worry, we'll keep everything you say confidential for you. Mr. Wang, would you like a cigarette first? Wang Hao took the cigarette handed over by Li Li, and Li Li lit it up again. Wang Hao took a beautiful puff and said, It's been a long time since I smoked. Today, I'll break my habit. What kind of cigarette are you, Li Team? The taste is really good. This is my hometown's Golden Saint cigarette, Mr. Wang has never heard of it, has he? I've heard that Li's team is from Jiangxi. So you and Wu are always from the same hometown. Li Li nodded and said, I'm from Nanchang. Nanchang is less than 100 kilometers away from Fuzhou, and you and Wu can be considered true fellow villagers, but we didn't get to know each other. Wang Hao finished smoking a few puffs and threw the cigarette but into the ashtray, then poured some water in, he seemed to have made a decision. These are all my guesses, not necessarily right. Li, you can just listen to them. When I came to work this morning and heard that Mr. Wu was stabbed, I was thinking about who had such a big grudge against him and had to kill to vent my anger. In the end, I came to the conclusion that the three most likely people to start killing were Lu Huanbua, who was guaranteed by Tongda, Huang Changbiao, who was precise in Li Xin, and Shi. Who is she? Li Li pursued. Chapter 4 Clue Suspects You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zhang Manli, the general manager of the company's business department, and I think she is the most likely to commit crimes. Zhang Manli is a woman who is really impressive. She has been working for less than six years and is not familiar with both public and private business. However, she cannot resist the fact that there are people behind her, and her lack of understanding of business does not affect her progress. She only became the general manager of the company last year, and this year she is preparing to compete for the position of vice president. I heard that her main competitor in this competition for vice president is Mr. Wu. They have had several arguments over business matters, and their relationship is already not good. Now they are competing for the position of vice president. 
Li Team, do you think Zhang Manli will buy someone to kill someone? Get rid of Mr. Wu's major concern. Li Li remained noncommittal. He picked up a pen and wrote the three words Zhang Manli in his notebook. He then drew a question mark next to him and asked, What's going on with Lu Huanbua, who is guaranteed by Tongdao, and Huang Changbiao, who is precise in Lisan? How did they become enemies with Mr. Wu? They actually hate Mr. Wu for the same thing. Last year, we issued a working capital loan to Lisan Precision, a subsidiary of Huang Changbiao, for an amount of 30 million yuan, which expired last month. They wanted to renew the loan, but during our post-loan inspection, we found that the loan had already been diverted to the construction of a real estate project. This seriously violates the clause agreed upon in the contract that working capital loans cannot be used for fixed assets, equity and other investments, cannot be used for fields and purposes prohibited by the state from production and operation, and working capital loans cannot be diverted. We also understand that Leeson Precision has been in a semi-shutdown state due to the impact of the epidemic in recent years, and there is no first repayment at all. Source Therefore, our risk and internal control department has discussed recovering the loan and no longer intends to lend it to them. Upon learning this, Zhang Manli angrily ran over to question Mr. Wu about why Leeson Precision's loan cannot be renewed. She also said that as long as Lee Sin Precision can pay interest on a monthly basis and repay the loan when it is due, it will be enough. Regardless of where the loan is used, Mr. Wu began to explain the reason to her, but later met with Zhang Manli for some business matters I don't understand why she's just being a troublemaker, so I suggest she strengthen her business learning, improve her business level, and go back and take a good look at Article 9 of the Interim Measures for the Management of Working Capital Loans. I don't even know why she was punished by the China Banking and Insurance Regulatory Bureau when she was exempted. Zhang Manli was angry and angry, leaving a sentence. I see you don't want to do it anymore, you wait and see. She went to complain to Director Du. Director Du probably didn't support her this time, and she didn't come to our department to make trouble. Later, I heard that she went to find Huang Changbiao and told him that the bank agreed to renew the loan, but he must repay the loan first. She also helped Huang Changbiao contact Lu Huanbua, who was guaranteed by Tongdao, and asked Lu Huanbua to give Huang Changbiao 30 million yuan to cross the bridge, crossing the bridge. Oh, crossing the bridge means that some borrowers who have expired their loans and have no money to repay them will find wealthy companies or individuals. They will pay high interest and the other party will pay for them to repay the bank loan. Isn't it risky for these companies or individuals who contribute money to do so? Isn't this equivalent to lending money to lenders? It's my fault that I didn't explain it clearly. The reason why they are willing to lend money to the borrower is because the bank has already agreed to renew the loan and issued a credit approval letter. However, the bank also has the condition that the borrower must first find money to repay the loan before the bank can issue a new loan. Therefore, if the bank has really agreed to renew the loan for bridge crossing business, the risk is very low. However, Jean Monley, knowing that our bank does not agree to renew the loan, is afraid that Lease and Precision will not be able to repay the loan when it expires, which will affect her competition for vice president. She actually concealed the truth. She deceived Lu Huanbua and Huang Changbiao, saying that the bank agrees to renew the loan, and Lee Sin Precision can issue a new loan after repayment. Lu Huanbua believed it to be true and actually lent Huang Changbiao 30 million yuan. As a result, our bank's loan was repaid, but Lu Huanbua couldn't escape and was firmly trapped. After learning the truth, Lu Huanbua pulled Huang Changbiao to seek an explanation from Zhang Manli. Zhang Manli then deceived them by saying that the bank had originally agreed to renew the loan, but Wu Zongjian firmly opposed it. Du, the bank chief, had no choice but to agree to withdraw the loan and not add more. She also instigated a rift and said everything is at fault with Mr. Wu. If he is not in the position of general manager of risk internal control department, there will be a turning point in this matter. Team Li, Zhang Manli has shifted all the responsibility onto general manager Wu. Do you think this woman is bad or not, Mr. Wang, 
what John Monley said is so confidential. How did you know? Li Li felt a bit strange. Humph, Zhang Monley thought she was covering up the sky and firmly controlling the company department. When she talked to Lu Huanbua and Huang Changbiao, she was in the office of the company department and didn't even think of avoiding others. But she didn't think of fairness and ease in people's hearts. Her colleagues in the company department had long disliked her. They immediately told me and Wu about this matter when they heard it. I advised Wu to explain it to Lu Huanbua and Huang Changbiao to prevent them from being fooled by Zhang Manli. He agreed, but before Wu could find them, he was stabbed. Li, do you think this happened? Well, I understand. Mr. Wang, let's take note of what you just said. Do you have any other information to add? No, I've said everything I should and wanted to say. Thank you, Mr. Wang. We will keep the situation you mentioned confidential and hope that Mr. Wang will not disclose the content of our conversation to anyone else. Li Li stood up. Okay, I wish you all a speedy resolution. Wang Hao reached out his hand and held it tightly with Li Li's hand. Chapter 5 Clash You are listening at NovelFull.audio How did you do, what did you gain? At noon, in the private room of the staff canteen of Yushang Bank, five police officers from the criminal investigation detachment sat together and had a work meal. Gao Wei asked Li Li while eating. We have gained a lot. In the morning, we contacted seven employees of Yushang Bank to understand the situation. Four of them were colleagues from Wu Zhao's department, two were from the company's business department, and one was from the retail business department. They provided many useful clues. According to their feedback, Zhang Manli, the general manager of the company's business department, has a deep grudge against Wu Xiaoji. Recently, due to the competition for the position of vice president, the relationship between the two has become even more intense. Moreover, Zhang Manli often does whatever it takes to achieve her goals. This is how Zhang Manli, the general manager, was obtained. Therefore, I believe that Zhang Manli's suspicion is very high. Li Li replied. Have you ever had direct contact with this Zhang Manli? Gao Wei pursued. Not yet, I plan to find her this afternoon. Don't be in the afternoon either. There are still a few cases to handle in the team, and time is urgent. After dinner, we will go find Zhang Manli and we will meet together. In the conference room, Gao Wei carefully scrutinized the influential figure of Yushang Bank in front of him. Zhang Manli was about 20.7 or 8 years old, which was the most beautiful age in a woman's life. She had wavy hair permed and her tight work clothes perfectly displayed her graceful figure. Zhang Manli had a delicate melon seed face, fair skin, and a pair of charming big eyes. With a gentle blink, it was enough to make any man's heart race. Zhang Manli couldn't help but feel a little uneasy when she saw Gao Wei staring at her intently. She forced herself to calm down and smiled, saying, Gao, Li, and two SIRs, you guys don't rest at noon. If I don't sleep for a while at noon, I won't be able to do anything in the afternoon. Gao Wei smiled faintly and said, we can't compare to Mr. Zhang. We are all busy and don't have the habit of resting at noon. I'm really sorry that it affects Mr. Zhang's rest. Zhang Manli hit a nail in the head, but she didn't pay any attention. When you come to Yoshan Bank, that's our esteemed guest. Since the guest doesn't rest, how can I, as the host, rest? I have to accompany you. Team leader, can I order a few cups of coffee to refresh you all? No need, we can't get used to that. Mr. Zhang, you should know our purpose, so let's not waste our time. Let's get straight to the point. Okay, President Du has instructed us to cooperate well with your investigation. Team Gao, if you have any questions, please ask them. After hitting the nail twice in a row, Zhang Manli's heart began to panic. Did the police find something wrong with her? She unconsciously adjusted her sitting posture and straightened her waist. Let's talk about your relationship with Wu Xiao. 
Gao Wei noticed the change in Zhang Manli's posture and knew that the other party had entered a highly guarded state. He didn't take it seriously and decided to go straight to the point. My relationship with Wu Xiao. We are just ordinary colleagues and don't communicate after work. Our relationship is pure and innocent. What kind of relationship can we have? Zhang Manli widened her eyes and looked aggrieved. Gao Wei turned his head and coincidentally, Li Li also looked at him. The two of them shook their heads and smiled bitterly, which could also lead to a relationship between men and women. What Zhang Manli was thinking all day long. Gao Wei cleared his throat and said, Zhang Xiao, Mr. Zhang, I heard that your relationship with Wu Xiao is very bad, even very tense, isn't it? He almost called Zhang Manli, Miss, but luckily he reacted in time and didn't make any mistakes. Zhang Manli loudly replied, who spread the rumor. Although Mr. Wu and I have argued a few times, it was because there was a small difference in our work methods. I still respect Mr. Wu very much in my daily life. I even helped him find someone to buy a dehumidifier. Gao, who said that my relationship with Mr. Wu is not good. You tell me, I will go find him. Who said it? I can't tell you, why was someone else right? Gao Wei asked in response. Those are all petty people who are afraid that the world will not be chaotic and are chewing their tongues recklessly. Don't believe it, team leader. Heaven and earth have conscience. The relationship between Mr. Wu and me is not as bad as they say. We are all people who are dedicated to work and have no selfish intentions. Everyone can talk about anything on the table. Even if we argue, it is for work, not for personal reasons, and it will not affect our relationship in life. Zhang Manli spoke confidently. Really? How did I hear people say that after Leeson Precision's loan expired, Wu Xiao didn't agree to renew it? You went to the Risk and Internal Control Department and had a big argument, warning Wu Xiao to get out if he didn't want to do it. Also, you privately told Lu Huanbua from Tongda Guarantee and Huang Changbiao from Leeson Precision that their loan could not be renewed when it was due, and they were all using Wu Xiao's advice to find a way to deal with Wu Xiao. Li Li seized the opportunity and threw another heavyweight bomb. How did you know about these things? Zhang Manli asked in surprise. Don't worry about how we know, just say if there is. Gao Wei knocked on the table. There are indeed cases of arguments, but listen to my explanation first, Team Gao. I am the general manager of the company department, responsible for the business marketing of corporate clients throughout the bank. He is the general manager of the risk internal control department, responsible for risk control. I begged my grandfather and grandmother to put in a lot of effort to successfully market back a business. If Wu Xiao said it was not possible, it would not be possible. I have been busy with the branch for a long time, Team Gao. You would also have some opinions, and besides, Wu Xiao is a big man who doesn't know how to compromise with me, a weak woman. I will vent my anger a few times. If you don't speak up, I can still argue with you. He tends to be stubborn and insists on arguing with you. I argued for a win or lose, but I was still not convinced. At Yoshan Bank, Zhang Manli had never been afraid of anyone before, so let's argue. However, later on, Director Du criticized me and said that regardless of whether it was reasonable or not, I should not argue with my colleagues in public as it would have a negative impact, what is Mr. Du's opinion on this loan? Zhang Manli said angrily, he's really slippery. He didn't say who was right or wrong, he just said he wanted to consider it. However, he also said that the loan must not be overdue, which is not good for me or the bank. He asked me to solve it quickly and even gave me Lu Huanbua's phone number, asking me to find him. So you went to find Lu Huanbua? Yeah, when Lu Huanbua and I said it was Lao Du who sent me here, he asked me how much the amount was without saying a word. Huang Changbiao, who was straightforward, couldn't do it anymore. He kept asking if the credit approval letter had been issued. Everyone was annoyed by him. Li Li sneered, of course, the annualized interest rate for crossing the bridge is as high as 50%. 
If the bank does not agree to renew the loan, I think Huang Changya would rather have the loan overdue than bear such high costs. Li Diyuai also knows how to cross the bridge, it's really admirable. I just fooled Huang Changyao that the credit approval letter had already been issued, and Lu Huanbua also helped persuade him, 30 million is not a small number, Mr. Du told me personally that the approval letter has been issued, otherwise I wouldn't agree to lend you the money. Huang Changyao then believed it, and he borrowed 30 million from Lu Huanbua to repay our bank loan. Continuing, why did you let Lu Huanbua and Huang Changyao deal with Wu Xiao? Gao Wei frowned and asked. He was very unhappy that Zhang Manli used fraudulent means to lure Huang Changyao to borrow high-interest loans to repay bank loans. As a result, Huang Changyao, who was burdened with heavy debt, was likely to go bankrupt due to a broken capital chain. He went bankrupt. What should the hundreds of employees of Leeson Precision do? Later, when the two of them found out the truth, they came to trouble me. I was just a weak and powerless woman and I was afraid of facing two fierce and evil men. I had to evade the credit approval letter, which was indeed issued, but it was revoked and destroyed by Wu Xiao. I had no choice but to prevent them from getting angry with me. I also said some heartless words to them, asking them to deal with Wu Xiao. I even said that if Wu Xiao was not here, there might be a turning point in the matter. Gao team and Li team, I just said it casually. You wouldn't think I really wanted to kill General Wu, would you? Zhang Manli asked pitifully as she nervously spoke. Chapter 6 Du Xing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Where did you go last night? Gao Wei asked coldly without any intention of showing any mercy or reluctance towards Jade. Last night. Zhang Manli pursed her lips and thought for a while before saying, I didn't go anywhere last night. After work, I went home. This time is too tiring. I just ate something and then rested. Gao Wei knew she was lying, but he didn't point it out. Who can prove it? Zhang Manli pouted and said, Gao Diyuai, I live alone as an unmarried woman. Where can anyone prove it? Oh, that's just that there's no one to prove it. I heard that Mr. Zhang is preparing to compete for the position of vice president. He he, you're really young and promising. Gao Wei had a sarcastic expression on his face, and after a brief encounter with him, he had a rough understanding of the details of the business department CEO in front of him. He lacks morality, incompetence, and talent. The fact that such a person can be highly valued in Yoshang can only indicate that there are problems with Yoshang's corporate culture. Zhang Manli didn't seem to understand the meaning behind Gao Wei's words, and she said proudly, that's the kindness and cultivation that Director Du has shown me. However, I can't be considered young and promising either. I'm already 28 years old this year, and Yen Zimei from Pingfu Bank is only one year older than me, but she has been a vice president for three years. Gao Wei sighed helplessly. There was a big obstacle in communication. He waved his hand and gestured for Li Li to continue. Li Li then asked, I heard that your biggest opponent in this competition for vice president is Wu Xiao, right? Zhang Manli sneered, just rely on him. Wu Xiao has strong principles, is proficient in business, and has good relationships with colleagues. Why can't he? Li Li was very puzzled. What's the use of having strong abilities, and what's the use of colleagues' good reviews of him? He speaks too bluntly and lacks vision, offending people who shouldn't be offended. Zhang Manli rolled her eyes and continued, no one in the leadership team likes him, including his deputy director Ma. Can you say that such a person can be my competitor? Zhang Manli became interested when she saw Gao Wei and Li Li being silent. Leaders, please don't waste your time on me. Wu Xiao is really not worth my effort to deal with. He doesn't have any problems, and in a few days, the bank will also send an article asking him to become the president of the People's Road branch. Soon, I will be out of sight and out of mind. Li Li saw that Gao Wei's face was getting worse and he quickly said, All right, Mr. Zhang, let's talk about this today. If there is a need, 
we can contact you again. Of course, if you think of useful clues, you can also contact us immediately. Thank you. Zhang Manli exclaimed with a lingering, ah, as she stood up and stroked her skirt with both hands. Can I go now? Lili nodded and Zhang Manli said again, are you really not drinking coffee? Lili smiled and shook her head. Okay then, Zhang Manli said. She opened the door to the conference room and twisted her waist to leave. Gao Wei couldn't help but sneer at the situation and said, teamly, have you seen President Du? No, the person in charge of the bank's comprehensive management department said he went to the provincial capital for a meeting and will be back in a few days. Seeing him makes me feel like a person. Li, you told the people at Yoshan Bank that President Du must notify us as soon as he returns. How did you arrange it next? I want to split the army into two routes, one to find Lu Huanbua and Huang Changbiao, and the other to find Huang Wan. Li Li saw Gao Wei's expression of doubt and quickly explained, Huang Wen used to be an auditor in the Risk and Internal Control Department. He was transferred to the Zijin branch as a customer manager a few days ago. When I asked for the reason, no one could explain it clearly. I think there is something strange and I want to go find him to understand the situation. Okay, then let's split the troops into two paths. I'll go find Lu Huanbua and Huang Changbiao and you go find Huang Wen. We'll try to meet up in the team at 5 p.m. this afternoon. Gao Wei immediately divided the tasks. Zhang Manli saw no one around and turned up to the third floor. She stopped at the door of the innermost room and looked around for a while before gently knocking on the door. Someone inside the door whispered, Who? Me, Manli. The heavy wooden door opened silently, and Zhang Manli flashed in. The door closed quietly again. What are you doing with me at this time, said a man angrily. He was in his forties, of medium build, with a Chinese-style face, sword-like eyebrows and bright eyes, somewhat similar to the actor Xiao Jianba in Beijing Opera. Zhang Manli sat down on the sofa, her face full of grievances. Just now, the police questioned me, asking this and that. My heart was so scared that it was pounding and jumping. You didn't care and blamed me. You don't know if they find out I didn't go to the provincial meeting, it would be a big deal. Monli, what did they ask you? The man asked nervously. They came to inquire about Wu Zhao's assassination. What else can they ask? They're not asking about my relationship with Wu Xiao, why it's not good. By the way, they also know that I caused trouble for Wu Xiao over Lu Huanbu's crossing of the bridge. What? How did they know about crossing the bridge? Did you say something outside again? The man roared. Zhang Manli pretended to be pathetic. Ah do, no wonder I didn't say it outside. It was Lu Huanbu and Huang Changbiao who knew that the loan of lease and precision could not be renewed to trouble me. I was afraid and worried and I didn't care much about it. I discussed with them in the office about countermeasures. It must be two wave hooves in the office who heard it and told the police that they were the eyeliner placed beside me. No, ah do, you should send them to the sub-branch counter. When it turned out that the man was Du Shan, the president of Yoshan Bank, he looked as if he hated him hard as steel. Monli, can you get along well with your colleagues? You have been in the company department for less than two years, and I have already changed six people. Also, is it something that bank staff can participate in when dealing with bridge crossing business with Lu Huanbua? As the CEO of the company's business department, you are still openly discussing with people in the office. You are really brave. When she saw Du Shan, she got angry and Zhang Manli was scared. She stood up and walked to Du Shan holding his arm and gently shaking it, saying, Adu, don't get angry. You know my brain is not working well, and I will listen to you in everything from now on. Chapter 7 Conspiracy You are listening at NovelFull.audio Feeling the softness on the woman's chest, Du Shanshir's tone softened and he said, Monli, this is a very difficult time. We need to be particularly careful. When we arrive in Australia, you will be free. 
you can do whatever you want. I don't want to stay in China for a long time. Even though I have so much money in my hands, I can't use it. I have to dress up as a poor person all day. It's really suffocating me. Adieu, when can we go to Australia? Jean Monley coquettishly said. It's coming soon. Why didn't I show up in the morning? Jason and I made an appointment for today's phone call. Jason told me that immigration matters are almost done, and we are waiting for the immigration office to issue the immigration visa. The villa in Brisbane has also been renovated, waiting for you, the hostess, to move in at any time. Du Shancher said as he reached out and gently scraped Zhang Monli's nose. Is that right? That's great. Zhang Monli cheered as she gave a kiss on Du Shan's face, still feeling unsatisfied. Du Shancher quickly pulled out a tissue to wipe his face and said, Don't make a fuss, it's not good for others to hear you. Let's get back to business. How did you answer the police question just now? Zhang Monli dared not conceal the details of Li Li's inquiry earlier and told Du Shancher to listen. Du Shancher frowned and pondered. Zhang Monli nervously asked, What did I say wrong again? No, you answered fairly well. I just wonder if there will be any accidents sooner or later. I was just about to transfer Wu Xiao to the branch, but why was he just stabbed at this moment? That's right, if he had an accident half a month earlier, Huang Changbiao wouldn't have had so much trouble renewing that loan, Zhang Manli agreed. What do you understand? Don't shift the topic. I'm worried that the police might come to investigate in the industry and expose our affairs. By the way, did the police take Wu Zhao's personal belongings? Yes, I heard they took Wu Zhao's work log. Work log? Oh no, it's my fault for carelessness. Even if I knew Wu Xiao had an accident, the police would definitely come to check his personal belongings and look for clues to solve the case. I should have asked Lu Cun to check his drawer early this morning. If we find any materials that are not conducive to us, we will destroy them in a timely manner. Du Shan looked regretful. Adu, you don't have to worry, it's just an ordinary work log. During a meeting, Wu Xiao was called out of the business system halfway through. I even checked his log and found that it was all about meetings and training, without any other interesting content. Zhang Manli comforted her. That's good. If it's really what you said, it's because I was worried too much. However, the fact that Wu Xiao was assassinated is a mystery. Who would you say would want to kill him? Du Shan seemed to be asking Zhang Manli, but also muttered to himself. Anyway, it's not you or me, let those police investigate. Zhang Manli didn't care at all. Don't take it lightly. He Ju and Deputy Secretary Zhang have reminded me several times to be cautious of the little ghosts below. Tao Gu called me a few days ago and said he received several reports, but he didn't have time to send them to me and asked me to handle them myself. Monli, I think the situation is severe, and we need to take corresponding measures. You should quickly gather the external funds and I will find someone to take them to Australia. Ah! It's so urgent. These money are scattered among more than ten guarantee companies. How can we say that they will be collected immediately? Besides, the average monthly interest rate for guarantee companies is 12%, so we don't want such a high return rate anymore. Short-sighted, do you think petty gains are important or immigrating to Australia is important? I'm worried that the case of Wu Xiao being stabbed may pull out carrots and bring mud. Be prepared now. If the situation is unfavorable to us, we can leave immediately. Remember, everything is for immigration. Well, Adu is right. I'm not as cunning as you are. I'll follow your advice and notify them to repay the money in the afternoon. However, Lu Huanbua, who is guaranteed by Tongda, needs you to go and say hello. His 30 million yuan is trapped in lease and precision, and he has been complaining about me. I told him he won't pay attention to me. No problem, I'll call him now. Du Shan thought for a moment and then said, there's one more thing you need to do quickly. 
you can arrange for someone to go to the market supervision administration to cancel the companies that use Zhongnanhui Trading Company for bookkeeping. We won't need it anymore. At this moment, the office door was gently knocked on by someone. Du Shanshir immediately flashed behind the door and whispered, Who? Someone outside answered softly, Du Xing, I am Lu Cun. Du Shan opened the door and put Lu Cun in. When Lu Cun saw Zhang Manli sitting on the sofa, he was taken aback for a moment, then smiled and said, Mr. Zhang is also here. Zhang Manli looked at him disdainfully without saying a word. Lu Cun begged him uninterested, but he didn't care at all. He still smiled and said, Du Xing, have all those police officers left? Oh, what did they find? It seems like not. They just found eight people to understand the situation, including four from the Risk Internal Control Department and three from the Company Business Department, including Mr. Zhang and one from the Retail Business Department. The longest conversation was between Mr. Zhang and Mr. Wang Hao. By the way, they also took Wu Zhao's work log. Do you know what Wang Hao talked to them about? During dinner, I inquired and Wang Hao refused to say anything. He just talked to someone surnamed Li about his child studies. Talking about children's learning. Wang Hao really deceived us by treating us as mentally disabled, Zhang Manli interjected angrily. What Mr. Zhang said is, Du Xing, this Wang Hao is not with us in the same heart, so we cannot keep him by our side. It's easy for bad things to happen. Lu Cun said with added fuel and vinegar. I have a clear idea that Wu Xiaojiang had an accident, and the top priority in the industry, especially in the risk and internal control department, is stability. It is not advisable to transfer personnel, and this matter needs to be taken slowly. Lu Cun, what did the police say when they left? I didn't say anything, just asked me to notify you to contact them immediately when you return to Zhucheng. Du Xing, when would it be convenient for you to see them? I'll let you know when I think about it. Chapter 8 It's not me. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Team Gao, where are we going first? Yang Ling closed the car door and turned to ask Gao Wei. Go to Tonga Guarantee first, even if it's close, it's on the way, Gao Wei replied without hesitation. Do you want to give Lu Huanbua a call first? Lu Huanbua has a lot of emotional debt and often changes his phone number. The number he gave you last time must be unreachable now. Let's go and take a look first. Jingshan Road is the widest, cleanest, and modern street in Zhuhai City. Due to many financial institutions setting up their offices here, Jingshan Road is also known as the financial street by the people of Zhuhai City. Lu Huanbo rented several street-facing shops to work on the financial street, where every inch of land is worth every penny. As the office buildings of the four major banks of industry, agriculture, China, and construction are so magnificent, he often introduces his company in this way. Our company's slogan is always walking with the four major banks, always being the industry benchmark, and he takes pride in it. As soon as Yang Ling stopped the car, a security guard walked over unsteadily. He looked up and down at the car, then looked up at Yang Ling. He tilted his head impatiently and asked, Who are you looking for? Yang Ling didn't get angry when he saw the security guard looking down on people. He also answered straightforwardly, Find Lu Huanbo. The security guard looked at Yang Ling again, seemingly incredulous and said, Who are you looking for? Are you looking for Mr. Lu? Gao Wei opened the car door and walked down. Yes, I'm looking for Lu Huanbo. He was tall and had sharp eyes, giving people a feeling of not being angry or arrogant. The security guard saw him and knew that he couldn't afford to offend him. He smiled and said, Boss, have you made an appointment with Mr. Lu? Gao Wei snorted, Is he in the company? Yes, you see Mr. Lu's Maserati is here, so Mr. Lu should still be in the company. It's good to be in the company. After speaking, Gao Wei led Yang Ling to stride towards Tongda Guarantee Company. 
the security guard dared not stop him and quickly used the walkie-talkie to notify the security guard at the entrance. He then followed over. Gao Wei and his companions walked quickly to the entrance of Tongda Guarantee. The security guard stood at attention and saluted, Hello sir, may I ask who you are looking for? Gao Wei didn't want to make things difficult for the security guard. He took out his work permit and handed it over, saying, I'm looking for Lu Huanbua. Is he there? The security guard looked at the documents and didn't notice that his body was a bit shorter. He handed back his work permit to Gao Wei with both hands and said, Hello Captain Gao, Mr. Lu is in the company, and I will take you over. He waved his hand repeatedly and asked the parking lot security guard who followed to hurry back. The security guard led Gao Wei and the two of them through the hall to the entrance of the general manager's office. The security guard gently knocked on the door, and a loud voice immediately came from the room. Please come in. The security guard said, wait a moment, opened the door and walked in quickly. In no time, a chubby man about 1.6 meters laughed and ran up to greet him. From a distance, he reached out his hand and said, hi team, hi team, long time no see. Which gust of fragrant wind brought you to my place today? Gao Wei shook hands with him and smiled faintly, saying, Mr. Lu, I always climb the Three Treasures Hall. Today, I came to ask for your help. The chubby man was taken aback and then smiled, saying, what's the point of not helping? If you have anything to do, just give me your orders. Come on, don't stand at the door, hi team, please come inside. He smiled obsequiously at Yang Ling and said, Officer Yang, please come in too. Gao Wei walked into Lu Huanbo's nearly 60 square meter huge office and looked around, Mr. Lu, it seems that your business is getting bigger and bigger, and this office is becoming more and more imposing. Lu Huanbo shook his head and said with a bitter smile, Team leader, there's nothing we can do. As business people, we value our integrity. Even if we don't have money, we have to resort to making a fool of ourselves. The reason behind this is indescribable. Gao Wei noticed a capable man in his forties sitting on the leather sofa in the center of the room, sipping tea. Seeing Gao Wei looking at him, the man was not nervous either. He put down his teacup and nodded at Gao Wei. Gao Wei said, Unfortunately, Mr. Lu has a guest today. Lu Huanbo chuckled and said, Team leader, Huang is always my guest, and he is also the person you are looking for now. Gao Wei immediately understood. Are you Huang Changbiao, the chairman of Leeson Precision? I am Huang Changbiao, hello Gao team. The capable man stood up and extended his hand to Gao Wei. Looking at Gao Wei's puzzled expression, Lu Huanbua laughed heartily and said, Team Gao, don't worry, sit down and have a cup of hot tea first, listen to me speak slowly. Lu Huanbua skillfully ironed the tea cup and poured tea for Gao Wei and Yang Ling before speaking up, I know Gao team you will definitely come to me, but I didn't expect it to be so fast. Oh. Then tell me why I came to see you. Gao Wei took a sip of the tea, which had a rich taste, a sweet aftertaste, and a unique pine smoke aroma. It should be Zheng Shan Xiao Zhong. Many people know that Huang's company's loan renewal process was disrupted by Wu Xiao, and even my 30 million bridge payment couldn't be recovered. Therefore, Huang and I have sufficient reasons to hate Wu Xiao. In order to retaliate against him, we are likely to find someone to deal with him. Unfortunately, at this moment, Wu Xiao was stabbed and sent to the hospital. It goes without saying that Huang and I have the biggest suspicion. If you don't come to see me, I would find it strange. Lu Huangbo explained. Did you guys do this? Gao Wei asked casually. Gao Dui, don't deceive me anymore. We have known each other for several years. You know that I am a law-abiding businessman who only knows how to bury my head in business. I never do those illegal and disorderly things. Lu Huangbo's chubby face turned red, and he quickly replied. Huang Changbiao saw Gao Wei turning his gaze towards him and said with a smile, Gao team, if you know the purpose of my coming here, you won't doubt me and Mr. Lu. Oh, really? 
I'm all ears. Chapter 9 I have money to pay back. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. My repayment funds have been in place. I came to the guarantee company to discuss the interest of 30 million yuan on the bridge funds with Mr. Liu. Originally, I expected to repay the bridge funds with a bank loan in at most half a month, so I didn't take the annual interest rate that Mr. Liu mentioned seriously. I didn't expect things to go smoothly. The bridge funds have been used for a month and a half now, and if we continue to follow the loan interest rate at that time, I really can't accept it. So I came to Mr. Liu to discuss and I will definitely pay the interest that needs to be paid. I just hope that Mr. Liu can give some consideration to the interest rate. Huang Changbiao briefly explained his purpose of coming. Liu Huanbua helped everyone pour tea and said with a smile, Mr. Huang, we are all members of the Industry and Commerce Association. We don't look up or down on weekdays. It's easy to discuss and discuss things. Gao Wei reminded Liu Huanbua, Mr. Liu, the provisions of the Supreme People's Court on several issues concerning the application of law in the trial of civil lending cases, are written clearly in black and white. If the interest rate agreed upon by both parties does not exceed the annual interest rate of 24%, and the lender requests the borrower to pay interest according to the agreed interest rate, the People's Court should support it. If the interest rate agreed upon by both parties exceeds the annual interest rate of 36%, the excess interest agreement is invalid. If the borrower requests the lender to return the interest paid in excess of the annual interest rate of 36%, the People's Court should support it. Therefore, if the annual interest rate agreed upon by you exceeds 24%, it can only be executed at 24%. Before Lu Huanbu could speak, Huang Changbiao rushed to answer, Team Gao, 24% is a bit lower. I am willing to pay the monthly interest at an annual interest rate of 36%. Lu Huanbua interrupted him and continued, Mr. Huang, we will discuss our matter later. Don't worry, we guarantee it will satisfy you. Let's cooperate with the high team to handle the case now. Huang Changbiao looked embarrassed as he picked up his teacup and took a sip, saying, Team leader, if you have any questions you don't understand, feel free to ask. I will definitely know everything and speak without hesitation. I would like to thank Mr. Huang for your support first. Mr. Huang, I would like to know where your funds for repaying the bridge payment come from, 30 million yuan, which is not a small number. Gao Wei stared at Huang Changbiao and asked. This 30 million is my own. Seeing Gao Wei's suspicious expression, Huang Changbiao hurriedly explained. Why did I seek a loan of 30 million yuan from Yushang Bank before? Actually, it's not that Leeson Precision was short of money. Although business was difficult to do during the epidemic, I also took some measures, such as shutting down several production lines and reducing the number of workers, and the normal operation of the enterprise was not a problem. It's because of my poor determination. Seeing many people around me earning a lot of money through real estate development, I couldn't resist the temptation and wanted to invest in real estate to make a quick profit. So, I borrowed 30 million yuan to cooperate with others and took a piece of land on Lingdong Road to build a small property to try out. I didn't expect many things to be easy for others to do, but difficult for myself. After obtaining the land, I spent a lot of money on increasing the plot ratio. For quite some time, I encountered a typhoon, a complete shutdown during the epidemic, and workers were injured and construction was stopped again after resuming work. I feel that all the unpleasant things have happened in the past year, but I don't want to give up. Firstly, it's a face problem. If everyone else can succeed, I Huang Changbia will never fail. Secondly, I hold on to luck. I always believe that things will turn around if I persist for a while longer. It wasn't until last month when the loan was renewed that I realized my persistence built on one's own wishful thinking Lu Huanbo poured tea for Huang Changbiao and interjected, Senior team, Mr. Huang's project is indeed good. I have specifically visited it, right next to Lingdong Park. Within two kilometers of the project, there are hospitals, large supermarkets, vegetable markets, kindergartens, 
primary schools, and middle schools. You know, the middle school department of Lingdong Middle School is one of the top three in our city. If this project is completed, it will become a school district house, which is a standard requirement. That's why Mr. Huang asked me to bridge the loan under his name, and I agreed without saying a word. Huang Changdiao let out a long sigh and said, The project is a good one, but unfortunately my luck is not good enough to see it completed in the end. His eyes were full of unwillingness and endless helplessness. Mr. Huang, your luck is quite good. Not only can you escape unscathed, but you can also earn some money to some extent. However, I heard that many bosses are selling their real estate projects at a 20% discount without anyone taking over, Lu Huan was comforted. Huang Changdiao sincerely said to Gao Wei, Gao Dui, to be honest, I do have objections to Mr. Wu Xiaowu. After all, he vetoed the renewal of lease and precision loan, but I can also understand him. In his position as general manager of risk and internal control, the loan has indeed been misappropriated. He must fulfill his responsibilities and provide professional advice, otherwise it will be dereliction of duty or incompetence. In fact, I still admire Mr. Wu as a person. Despite tremendous pressure, he can still maintain his own views, which is not something that everyone can do. You really admire Wu Xiao, don't you? Lu Huanwa widened his eyes, his face full of disbelief. Yes, I think Wu Xiao is not only superior and not only in power. When dealing with problems, he is based on facts and principles, and will not easily give up his principles and values due to the pressure of power and status. Such a person is worthy of my admiration. On the contrary, the general manager of the company's department, Zhang Manli, is full of words, running the train without telling the truth, collecting money but not doing anything, which is really despicable. Oh! Zhang Manli took your money. Gao Wei asked with great interest. Lu Huanbo felt anxious in his heart and quickly said, Drink tea, Mr. Huang. Team Gao came to understand Mr. Wu's situation. Don't drag the matter too far away. Huang Changdiao glanced at Lu Huanbo and reluctantly picked up his tea cup and took a sip. It's nothing, just a little tea fee. If you want to borrow from Yusheng Bank, you have to pay her for the tea fee, he said Gao Wei knew that Lu Huanbo was present, and Huang Changdiao had some concerns. He couldn't ask more about Zhang Manli's collection of money, so he changed the topic and asked, where did you all go last night? Do you have any witnesses? Huang Changdiao replied, last night, I was in the office discussing the transfer of 30% of my shares with the other two shareholders of the project company. Due to disagreements on the plan and price, the dispute lasted until 11 o'clock before it was finally decided. Therefore, I can only come to Mr. Lu today to discuss the interest matter, and they can testify for me. Lu Huanwa smiled and said, it's really a coincidence. Last night, I had dinner with President Du of Yusheng Bank and talked about bridging funds. Although it's safe and profitable to lend money to Mr. Huang, 30 million yuan is not a small sum of money, which has affected the operation of the company to some extent. I want to find President Du to raise funds to solve the liquidity problem, but people's calculations are not as good as heaven's calculations. I didn't expect Mr. Huang to have money today. Do you think I'm just working in vain? Oh. Last night you were with Mr. Du, how did he respond to you? He is a very deep person and easily doesn't express himself. He said he wants to study in research, and Zhang Manli will notify me once the results are obtained. Zhang Manli was with you last night. Yeah, it's right in my private clubhouse on the second floor. Zhang Manli drank a lot and wanted to use her alcohol to drive her crazy. She begged me to help her buy a BMW 7 Series, a car worth over a million yuan. She really dares to think that I pretended to be crazy and had a hard time getting rid of her, Lu Huanbo said angrily. What is Du's reaction? Du Xingchang is not here, he went to the restroom. Zhang Manli lied. She didn't go home after work yesterday, but instead came to Tongda Guarantee to accompany Du Shan. So why did she lie? 
Gao Wei fell into contemplation. Chapter 10 Work Log You are listening at NovelFull.audio At 8 o'clock in the evening, the office of the Criminal Investigation Detachment was brightly lit, and the case analysis meeting was proceeding in a tense and orderly manner. Yang Ling reported to everyone about the visit to De Jun, Huang Changbiao, and Lu Huanbua, Gao Wei concluded. From the perspective of the motive for the crime, on the surface, Huang Changbiao was unable to repay the bridge funds with an annual interest rate of up to 54% in a timely manner after the 30 million yuan loan from Yushang Bank expired due to Wu Zhao's refusal to renew the loan. He must have harbored a strong hatred towards Wu Xiao and had a motive for revenge and murder. However, during our visit, we found that Huang Changbiao not only had no negative emotions towards Wu Xiao, but also greatly appreciated his insistence on principles. More importantly, due to unable to renew the loan, Huang Changbiao had to sell his equity in the project company to repay the loan. I could feel that Huang Changbiao actually wanted to dispose of his equity in the project company, but he couldn't make up his mind because he wanted face. Wu Xiao invisibly helped him. Moreover, Huang Changbiao transferred his equity and made a lot of money. Therefore, Huang Changbiao had no subjective intention of killing Wu Xiao to vent his anger, Lu Huangbo borrowed 30 million yuan to cross the bridge with Huang Changbiao. Although the plan changed and Yushang Bank did not agree to renew the loan, Huang Changbiao was unable to repay the loan on time. However, Lu Huanbo was not in a hurry because he knew that Huang Changbiao was fully capable of repaying the loan. In fact, he hoped that the loan would be repaid as late as possible. After all, such a high loan interest rate is very tempting, so Lu Huanbo cursed Wu Xiao in his mouth, I don't know how grateful I should be to him in my heart, this is a money-giving boy the team members laughed when they heard it, Li Li continued to introduce. After breaking up with the senior team at noon, Quan Wu and I went to find Huang Wen. This young man had just been transferred from the risk and internal control department of Yushang Bank to the lower branch as a customer manager. Although it was said to be a job adjustment, it was actually a disguised punishment. I asked him the reason, and he said that five days ago, Zhang Manli, the general manager of the business department of the company, handed him a customer information, telling him that the customer was in a hurry to ask for money. He had already submitted the application materials to several banks, and it was up to which one to look at the approval process was fast, and Huang Wen worked overtime to review the materials. He found many doubts, such as the customer's production of feed increased significantly in the first half of the year, but the water and electricity bills decreased compared to the same period. The company, without improving the level of production mechanization through technological transformation, significantly reduced frontline workers. The amount of interest expenses in the previous year was too large, far exceeding the amount of interest required to be paid for the total amount of medium and short dot term loans reflected in the report, suspected of other hidden financing besides bank loans. Huang Wen also found that the assessed value of a villa as collateral provided by the client was too high. Even if calculated based on 70% of the collateral value, the collateral value exceeded the recent transaction price of surrounding villas. Therefore, the next day when Zhang Manli urged him about the progress, Huang Wen informed the other party of his findings and clearly stated his attitude. The authenticity of the information is questionable, and the collateral should be re-evaluated, originally, this was just a normal exchange of opinions among colleagues. Unexpectedly, Zhang Manli was furious and said that Huang Wen was ungrateful. She found a way to transfer him from the branch. Not only did she not show gratitude, but she colluded with Wu Xiao to deal with her. Since he was not kind, don't blame herself for being unjust. Huang Wen, you can go back where you came from. So Huang Wen returned to the branch the team members were whispering and discussing, and everyone felt strange that a department general manager could not have such great power to transfer employees across departments. Li Li glanced around, explain. According to the information we learned during our morning interview, the relationship between Zhang Manli and Du Shanshu, the president of Yoshang Bank, is not ordinary. There is nothing that Zhang Manli cannot do at Yoshang Bank. 
Being arrogant and acting recklessly in the bank has made Zhang Manli arrogant and conceited. Wu Xiao, who always goes against her wishes, has become a thorn in her side. In addition, Zhang Manli plans to compete for vice president, and Wu Xiao is her strongest competitor. Therefore, subjectively speaking, Zhang Manli Li has a motive to buy murder Huang Sipin continued, I completely agree with Team Li's opinion. I would like to add a few points, she lifted a notebook. This is Wu Xiao's work log, which basically records his meetings and studies over the past two years. It is a journal and has little significance for studying the case. Strangely, there are many blank spaces in the log where Wu Xiao records his work and feelings. I have selected a few helpful paragraphs from them to read to everyone. Firstly, after two years of visiting Yoshang, I regret my decision even more. I should not have made such a decision at all coming here is difficult to develop, the system construction is seriously lagging behind, and more importantly, there are significant problems with the corporate culture. The selection and employment standards are not based solely on talent, but on whether you listen or not, whether you are his person. Currently, due to strong abilities, Yoshang Bank also needs a few capable people. The job position is relatively stable, but who knows what will happen in the future. Two, I was angry when I left the place, and all the information was fake. Zhang Manli, a client like this, also used it to apply for a loan. I know that this woman has a special relationship with Du Shancher. Once, Du Shancher asked me to go to a social gathering with him, and it was Tongda who guaranteed Lu Huanwa's organization. Because I had to go through the system late for the temporary loan, when I arrived at Lu Huanwa's private club, I only saw Lu alone. What about Du's company? Lu smiled very lewdly. He said they were resting in the next room, and I didn't understand the meaning. Half an hour later, Du Shancher and Zhang Manli walked in one after another, and Zhang Manli blushed before I understood Lu Huanwa's meaning. But so what? In my position as the general manager of risk and internal control, I will adhere to principles and strictly follow the system to review business, not relax standards, and strive to ensure that the reviewed business does not incur bad debts. 3. Everything is like the rumor that John Monley has really become the head of the company department. He he, a vase who has only been engaged in credit work for less than a year and has no understanding of credit business has gone to the top by selling her body. I looked at her and smiled hypocritically at me, saying that I should help more in the future. I felt sick like eating a fly, but I still had to put on a smiling face to congratulate her. Wu Xiao, you have fallen, you're going to associate with these scumbags. At this point, Huang Sipin stopped to take a sip of tea and said, from the text, Wu Xiao is very upright and an idealist. He doesn't like to do work that conflicts with his own values, and sometimes appears more noble. He advocates peace, tries his best to avoid office politics, and tends to simplify interpersonal relationships. The fact proves that his wishes have been dashed. Let me continue reading a few paragraphs of Wu Zhao's diary. Fourth, after work, my colleagues have all left. Today, Ming Mei is on vacation. I called her and said that I have social activities, but I am just tired. I want to be alone and close the office door. I stand by the window, watching the sunset shine brightly. The streets are bustling with cars and people, and I feel incredibly lonely and helpless. I insist or give up, survival or death, I don't know how long I can hold on, I only know that the night is too long, and fifth, they have become even worse. Today, Lu Tiangue from Zijin Branch came to me and asked if the loan for gold hardware had been approved. I laughed and asked him back. Do you know that there is a hardware factory in that place, but its name is Jinjiang Hardware? He was taken aback for a moment, then said that the name on the documents might have been written incorrectly. I told him that the name on the property certificate was also made of gold and hardware, which suggests that the certificate may have been forged and the other party is suspected of fraud. Lu Tiangui became angry when he heard this. He said that this was the loan entrusted by President Du when Du Shan was in charge, and you have to approve it or not. Please sign it quickly. I am angry, 
and I cannot be an accomplice to their loan fraud, in the past, every customer would charge a 15% operating fee before loan disbursement. I endured it because it didn't affect the safety of credit assets on the surface. But now, it's different. They are openly robbing banks. I loudly replied to him that I can't sign, nor can I sign. Lu Tiangue retrieved the information and arrogantly said to me, your position as the general manager of risk and internal control department has come to an end. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, even if Du Shan dismissed me from my position, I cannot sign. I am prepared to let the storm come even more fiercely. Although millions of people are gone. There is also a table below, which lists the names of several companies that Wu Xiao believes have problems.